So under environment division, there is something called input output section. Inside input output section, there is something called file control. Inside file control, you have to define the files that you are using in the program. Now in this program, for example, you are using two files. One is input, one is output. From the input file, you are copying data to output file, entire data, no filter or anything. Okay. Now, those files, so first of all, you will write the program and then you will compile it and then you will execute it. So compilation is normal compilation only. During execution, you have to pass two files from the in the JCL. You have to pass two files in the JCL. Now only you know which is input, which is output. The program does not know it yet. Which file you are going to use as input, which file you are going to use as output. That we will get to know later in the program. But we have to first of all define the files. Okay, so here I have defined two files. Select in file assigned to DD1, select out file assigned to DD2. I'll show you how this will be passed. So first let me find this compilation GCL. So, for example, I will have this kind of files. Okay, I will have this kind of files. Okay. Now, see, com compilation is normal compilation only. How you compile the other program? Same way, you have to write the, you have to give the program name and you have to give the libraries and everything. But during execution, you have to pass the file names from here. So I have passed two files, dd1, dddsn, this one, dd2, dddsn, this one. Now I want to use this ps file as input file and this ps1 as output file. This is my choice, okay, I want to use. ps1 is an existing file, so I have used as this equal to old. So data will be replaced in this file. But the program does not know which is input, which is output. So in the program, I, I have just mapped the files. So this is called mapping. I, am, I have done mapping here. So select in file assigned to DD1 means I am mapping DD1 with in file. So the file which whose DD name is DD1 in the JCL will be called as in file in the program. The file whose name is DD2 in the JCL will be called as out file in the program. Got it? Got it. So the data from this PS file via DD1 will go to in file and data from out file via DD2 will go to this ps1 file so since cobalt cannot interact directly with the physical files it has to interact with the dd names of the jcls and then data will be passed and received to and from the files in the jcl now we have defined two files now we have to define the structure of the files also how will you define the structures so data division is required for that so data division we use only when we have to define we are using files or we are using some working storage variables or we are using linking to programs or anything we are calling another program in those cases only data division is used so data division under data division there is file section now you might get confused here we have file control here we have file section so under data division everything is section working storage section file section linkage section like that you can remember okay which is file control, which is file section. If you get confused, just remember under data division, everything is section. So file section, then these are the two files. For both the files, you have to define the structure. FD, in file. So for file, first file, what is the file definition? So I have written 01 in rec pick x of 80, meaning every record of this file will be called as in rec okay every record okay. of this file will be called as in rec and the data type is x and the data length is 80. for output file every record of this file will be called as out rec data type is alphanumeric length is 80. so this length should exactly match with the physical length of the file lrecl okay. if the lrecl is 80 here also you, you should have 80 if it is not matching then the program will fail okay? okay now you have to define 
the files this way then i have taken a variable wsa picture close x of one value one this variable i will use to manipulate the code to read the file from beginning to end now insert procedure division so see till now we don't know which is input which is output okay we just have defined two files the names don't matter in file out file in file will mean in input file out file will mean output file it does not work that way i have simply written these names for my convenience but here only you will get to know which one is input which one is output so there are some file opening modes input mode output mode then extend mode then io mode input is read only we use input mode for input files you can only read that file if you open any file in input mode you can only read the file output means write only if you open any file in output mode you will be able to only write data into the file extend is write but it is kind of append appending the records kind of difficult to mod okay when you use app extend in a file you can insert records in the file io is read and write you can read and also update records in the file so this extend io these are mostly used for vsum files okay in vsum okay. files if you want to insert a new row we can use extend if in vsum file we want to delete or update any row in ksds files we can use io mode for sequential files mostly you will have input and output oops okay now you have opened both the files so i have opened in file as input mode out file in output mode so now the system knows that in file has to be treated as input file out file has to be treated as output file then i have initialized out track okay. you'll get to know why i have initialized it i'll tell you later uh -huh. now the limitation with cobol program is if you simply if you simply read a file okay it will read only first record of the file and it will stop reading meaning if the file has 10 records it will not read all the records one by one it will read only the first record with normal read that is why we have to always perform the read statement in this perform loop we have to uh, use this inline perform perform and perform within which we have to keep our read statement okay so i have written perform until wsa equal to y what is the value of wsa here wsa is n i have written perform until wsa equal to y okay that means keep on performing this loop until and unless wsa becomes y then read in file at n after reading any file there are two cases one is at n one is not at n at n means it has reached the end of the file not at n means it has the file still has records so at n move y to wsa meaning you are reading the file if there is no record present in the file then there is no point performing this loop we want to close this loop so i have to i i am moving y to wsa so the loop is satisfied and is closed not at n not at n means the file has records if the file has records i am moving in rec to out rec if the file has records i am moving in rec to out rec meaning i am moving the input record to output record then out you have to write right out rec then only it will be written in the out rec then i am initializing out rec why am i initializing because i have to write more records in the output file so after moving the first record and writing in the output file i am initializing the out rec so that in the next move the correct record is moved from input to output and it does not fail sometimes what happens is when this loop runs if you after every move if you don't clean the intermediate variables then what happens is the move statements fail sometimes what it will do is it will move the previous record again in the output file that is why we need to clean it for when it runs in iteration okay in a loop when it runs in a loop if you are moving something to a variable after moving every time you to you should initialize so that the next move statement runs perfectly that is why before moving the first record i have initialized it here after moving every record i am initializing it here that is why two times i have initialized okay the clean data right and hmm? first record it only no first record will be moved before moving first record i am cleaning the output variable 
then i have moved the first record then i have written it when i have written it after writing even if you initialize nothing will happen in the output file it will not be erased because we have already written then you are initializing so the output variable will be cleaned then the second record again will be moved it will be written in the output file then again it will be cleaned like this it will run in a loop so every time after moving we have to clean the variable okay then end read so clean what is happening not delete the data no it it will not delete it will delete yes clean means it will delete everything from this out record but the writing you are cleaning that variable you are uh, deleting the record from the variable so nothing will happen it is already written in the output file oh. so after writing the output file we should always clean this out rec so that the next move statement runs properly so inside perform i am reading it so reading uh, after reading it will read suppose the file has five records input file it will read the input file it will go to not attend it will move the input record to output record it will write it will again check the condition it is still not satisfied it will read the file for the second time this time then it will go to not attend second record will also be written like this every time it will read the file and all the five records will be written in the output file then it will read the file for the sixth time for the sixth time it will read the file this time there is no record in the file it will go to attend it will go to attend and it will move y to wsa the loop will be closed then this again it will check the perform condition this time it will check that the loop is satisfied and it will come out of end perform then it will close in file out file both then it will go to stop run it will close close the program this is how it will work so this is mandatory whenever you write a read statement you have to run it inside a loop perform statement otherwise it will not run it will only it will run it will only read the first record and it will copy it will not read all the records one by one okay did you get it i get it but still confused you read first line and write the out record ha huh? can you speak loudly yeah first read first line then it smooth that first line, it, uh, move that first line into output record hmm then in selection get first record will not delete okay. so there are five records in the input file when it runs so the value of wsa is n now i have written perform until wsa is y meaning keep on performing this loop until it becomes y so it is not y it will read the file for the first time this record it will read it will go to not attend it will move this record from input file to output file then it will write so after it will write okay after writing so this is input this is output file it will write in the output file now after writing the this out rec had this initial uh, intermediate value the first record when you moved from in rec to out rec this out rec had the first record after you initialize it will be deleted from out rec that's it but it is already written in the output file because you have written right that is why write statement is mandatory if you don't write write statement it will not be written in the output file after writing even if you initialize out rec nothing will happen so write out rec yeah, initialize out rec both are out rec only but it does not work like that that if you initialize out rec it will be deleted from output file it will not it will it is already written there oh. next time second record will be moved third record will be moved fourth will be moved fifth will be moved all the five records will be written in the output file then the, again it will try to read the file for the sixth time but there is no record now in the file it will go to at attend, attend in attend it will move y to wsa to satisfy the loop oh. then last time it will again check the condition it is satisfied it will come out of end perform it will close the files that's it that is how it will work okay so let me compile the program first okay let me ps and ps on ps is the input file it has four records okay 
let me check if all the four records are present in the get copied in the output file or not so ps1 has ibm in frame but since i am using this pickle to old that will be replaced in the output file see same data is copied from input to output all four rec records got it got it 